What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. Just a short video today because Konami have finally added a brand new event for eFootball's dream team. So this has been a long time coming but they have kicked off the eFootball championship open. So there is a login campaign, bonus login campaign or whatever it's called. Yeah, so there's a login campaign here uh, for the next two weeks while the qualifiers are going on. As you see there, run a special login campaign when you get a maximum of 80,000 XP by logging into. And then you also get your trainer points uh, there. And then there's special campaigns as well uh, by scoring the indicated number of goals. So they have put a small bit of work into this. I suppose there's an objective specifically for uh, this eFootball Open qualifiers. So it's score three goals, uh, score six goals. And then, you know, these are, the, these are the special bonuses that you get along with earning the actual rewards of the event itself right so speaking of the event itself there's the kickoff campaign as we saw but the event itself here um is the qualifiers round one right so as you can see there there's the first qualifiers in round one there's the second qualifiers in round one then there's the third and fourth qualifiers in round one so there's four parts to that qualifying stage then it moves on into the second week uh, to the first qualifiers round two. So the second round two, third qualifiers round two, and fourth qualifiers round two, right? And you can see the rewards there. Uh, so obviously there is an incentive for people to enter into the first round because there's more trader points there. And obviously get as many people as possible to try it out, right? Now, when you actually enter this, you'll be brought to the event menu. You can also access it through. You just have to accept the terms. Uh, it's the same as going into the events or whatever. And there's a list of challenges, right? So it's pretty similar to the way that they've been doing the events over the last couple of days and weeks. Uh, so the first challenge is to score one goal. There doesn't seem to be any restriction on anything. So you can pretty much play whatever squad that you have. And all you need to do is score a goal. So everyone should be able to do that. You can see a lot of the players are on A form. Obviously, we've done a video on that. The best players to use. Um, there's some really good players on A and B form this week. But yeah, all you need to do is score a goal on that. Uh, it doesn't matter if you lose 10-1 once you score that goal. And then obviously for the next one, you're going to have to get a win or else you've got five matches. Like genuinely, it's pretty, pretty... Um, I would say like fair in the fact that you've got five chances of getting a one win. So if you've got a 20 win percent ratio, which I think everyone should possibly have, uh, you know, you should be able to get a win in five games or even three draws. You know what I mean? Uh, and then obviously it gets increasingly harder. You need six points out of five games. You need nine points out of five games. And for the last one, you need 12 plus points. So you're going to have to get 12 wins uh, or four wins out of five, which is going to be difficult for a lot of people, um, you know, to put back to back wins on that. So obviously that's going to separate the real good players from the guys who, you know, struggle sometimes. I mean, I'll probably struggle with that one, lads, to be honest with you, unless I really sit down and just play like a lot of practice on this, uh, because it can be hard sometimes. It depends your matchup. Sometimes you get matched up against a really, really good division one player. Sometimes you get matched up against a guy that's kind of close to your level that plays nice football. And sometimes you just get destroyed. Sometimes you'll destroy people. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's progress. Obviously there's going to be more to come from the eFootball Open. I think as we head into March and April, I think we're going to start to see more stuff. It just makes sense based on their own time frames and their own kind of way of doing things. I do like the fact that you are getting a lot of eFootball points for it. I think eFootball points are really the big untapped potential of this. They did give away the 5,000 there, but I do think that there's huge untapped potential in the eFootball shop, especially with players. If they are adding new legends and stuff like that, if you do want to check out uh, the video I did on Demi Kelly's, you can check that out, but you can see there that I've got 26,000 uh, eFootball points, so the fact that, like, you know, a contract renewal is going to cost you, what, in the in the region, well, they've that down there now, of 25,000, right? Um, you can get trainer points, obviously, here that are a reduced rate, so you can see there that the trainer points are usually uh, 5,000, but for this, they're only 1,000, but you can only buy one of them, so I think that they are trying to look into creating a more balanced like way of spending your currency because I think I'm going to do a video on the kind of issues I have with the mode at the moment. Like you can see there, I've got 6 million GP and there's pretty much nothing for me to spend it on apart from obviously buying, you know, 
players that I want in different squads. So they've also added a brand new event here. Well, it's not brand new. It's rinse and repeat. It's just obviously with uh, Mexican League players. As you see there, the Liga BBVA MX, and these are the rewards for that. You can use all these players to get bonus points. Uh, and obviously, there is 60,000 GP up for grabs, just getting 1,500 points. And then last but not least, we do have the brand new agents or the brand new players, even though they are kind of players that have released similar versions of them before. Um, it is the AC Milan and Inter Milan players. I went the worst way around that. So yeah, I've done a review on these players and checking them out. There's a, there's one or two. There's one or two that I'm kind of, uh, you know, a little bit impressed with. But I mean, the foreman, you know, you've got E and D there on Martinez and Skriniar. Like, I don't know, man. Um, it's it's just it's just weird. I mean, the form with these players, obviously it's set uh, with the, the rest of the players uh, card in eFootball. Um, but yeah, I genuinely think Tamori is an absolute monster. Tonali is a monster. But if you have already got a lot of these guys uh, or similar guys, it's going to be hard for these to change the dial too much in your squad. So that is it for me, lads. Just a bit of a quick news roundup. If you guys cannot check your PS5s yourselves, I will be back quite soon. Don't forget to check out my... Uh, player review on these Milan players I mean they go up to 95 and 94 except for Giroud's and 92 but um, yeah I mean it's a fairly fairly nice selection of players but there's just been so many players released as I keep saying so yeah we will be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe on the road to 25,000 subs big giveaway coming at that and I'll have news on a couple of new features coming to the channel very very soon as well until next time peace